of surfers on Long Island. This was before surfing was established. And this is where I met Patrick. Our friendship evolved uh, eventually into criminal enterprises. And it was all based on surfing, how to not have a job. The jobs interfered with what we really wanted to do. They began transporting multi-ton shipments of marijuana from Colombia and Jamaica into the United States by both sea and air. These people are looking at our pictures. We'll be picked up, and if we put pressure on us, we might even tell on each other. We know we love each other, so I should find a place where he didn't know I would go, and he'll pick a place, and don't ask, don't tell. Segwayed me from smuggling to Hollywood. Patrick had disappeared up and went south. It was at the end of the road, the bottom of Central America, Puerto Viejo, Salsa Brava. So I decided to go and find him and say hi. When I set out on the trip, I, I didn't have any idea that I would write a book about it. Alan wrote In Search of Captain Zero. It's a memoir combining their drug running exploits with the adventure of looking for his old partner, Patrick. We had a reunion. It didn't go the, oh, it didn't go the way I expected it to. In a way, our friendship seemed to end.